What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and more. Today we're outside of Barcelona, we're in the city of Besalú. It is a city that is full of medieval history and it still looks like one of those middle-aged towns, very well preserved. I'm excited to show you around and I hope you enjoy it. Besalú is most important around that 11th and 12th century and what the name Besalú comes from is a fortress between two rivers. You can see the fortress just up at the top over there where the count at the time would have built the castle and they would have had this wall that goes around. Parts of those walls are still left over and you can even see the romantic bridge that's left over and there's a lot to see inside of the city so we're going to go around to some of the main spots and check them out. Besalú was also a separate county from Barcelona back in those middle ages so it did have a little bit of an importance outside of Barcelona. The most famous thing in Besalú has got to be the bridge that we're on right now. The surprising part is that most of it was destroyed after the Spanish Civil War. Originally it dates to that 11th century, but a lot of it had to be reconstructed after the destruction that went down. The two towers that you see also were added in much later than that original bridge that was here. It's a really famous bridge. You'll see it even in some series. The most famous has to be Game of Thrones. One of the things that they did when they were rebuilding the bridge is they used the natural stone that was already here. So they didn't have to put any new supports and they used what they already had. And this is what gives it the form that it has today. can see some people in the back hanging out enjoying the rivers right there and you can see part of the walls that are still left over in the back now the city's changed over times so and the walls have expanded as well parts of them are still left like we said before so one of the things when you park just on the outside and walking through it's like entering into a medieval city right now famous restaurants right here, Pont Bay, this is the old bridge, and they have all of these shops throughout the street. You can see the bridge right behind me and as you come in through the main entrance you get into the area that would be the Jewish quarter. Back in the Middle Ages, Besalú had a large Jewish population so they had both the Christians and the Jews living here at the same time. And they actually say there's about 20% of the population that were Jewish and we're in the section right now that would have been the old synagogue. The Jews were given permission to build a synagogue here and what's left over just right here is not only parts of what you would have seen as the school or the synagogue, but also the mikvahs, the Jewish baths are actually below us. To get a tour, you have to go through the tourist office here and you can go inside and you can check things out. I did that a little bit earlier, so I'll show you guys what we saw when we got onto the inside. But they said it was the first Jewish bath to be found in all of Spain and the third best kept in all of Europe.
You also get some really nice views of the bridge down here by the river. And there's a nice walkway that you can see down here. Here's the entrance to those Jewish baths. And right here is where they would have prayed. We'll head down along the river walk. So you can see a little bit of those walls and the river here. You can see that bridge behind me, which is spectacular. You can see behind me is the old Julia Hospital, and this was basically put in for all of the pilgrims that would come in that they could take care of. The only thing that's left from the original is the Romanesque facade that they have. And you'll see a lot of that architecture around here. Compared to Barcelona, which is more Gothic, what you're gonna see is a lot more Romanesque architecture. If we get closer, we can see the capitals, the top the columns, and each of them have animals with two heads. And that basically represents the good and the bad in each of us, the devil and the, and the angels. You can see behind me is the church for the Monastery of San Pera. What they have on the facade are the two lions that are kind of protecting the area. And very small, you can see on the left, there's a man that's squatting down and it's kind of representing the misguidance, how you can get away from the faith. And on the right hand side, there's a man under the lion whose arms are crossed and he's laying down. And that represents anybody that's committed sin. If you were buried like that in the Middle Ages, that means you had committed some sort of sin. But those lions are up at the top, so you could see all around. And we're in main plaza right around here it's going to have the monastery and a bunch of different restaurants you can see on the other side a lot of different restaurants here and as i said the only part left is the church from the monastery what would have been back over here is the cloister now a parking lot you can see that idea of the area the cloister that would have been there A little bit of construction going on in the plaza. As you can see.
see many, many different places to grab some lunch, sit down, have those menus of the day. So you have a Romanesque style church, but the bell tower is actually Baroque. We're gonna walk through the middle of the town here in some of these little streets. And we'll come up to another plaza with a lot of different restaurants. So all around the center, they have these smaller streets with all these little shops that are nice. Some of them tourist shops, other of them selling products from the area. And so you got a lot of kind of meats and cheeses and different things around here that you can find. This shop right here, products from the land, all sorts of different things. We've got another church right behind me and this is the San Vicente Church. This is from around the 10th century and it's another one of those Romanesque churches that you'll find in Besalú. You've got some really nice streets all around that we'll explore as well. But each of these churches, if you want to go in, it's only one euro to explore. See buildings like this. And then we have nice little streets to walk down with the houses made of stone. The great thing about Besalú is it's a city that you just kind of want to walk around and see. And it's about an hour and a half outside of Barcelona, but it's really close to Girona. So you can even do Girona and Besalú in the same day.
can see the back of the San Vicente Church. You can see the difference between that Gothic and that Romanesque style and architecture. The Gothic is building up towards the heavens and the Romanesque is much more compact and down to earth. One of the best views in Besa Lu is from right here. You can see out to the bridge and even to the river and to the countryside as well. One of the best parts of Besalu is walking around all these little back streets that give you that medieval feel with all the stone in those houses and even the cobblestone on the ground and even walking under bridges like this. It really gives you that medieval feel.
I hope you enjoyed our visit to Besalu. If you did, remember to hit that like button below. And if you're looking to come over here the next time you're in Barcelona, I'll leave all the information on how to get here in the description below. But there are so many other places to visit, so let me know if you want to see any others that we can go and visit together. Remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe. Check out some of those other videos on what you can do your next time here in Barcelona that can get you better prepared for your next trip or even keep you connected after you leave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.